Rated E for everyone. Dear PlayStation, my kids never want to hang out with me, but wait till they see this. <laughs> yeah, not to be Buzzkill McGee here, but a better way to spend time with Kyle, Abby, and your lovely wife Jenny is to buy them a PS3. With Blu-ray movies and games like Little Big Planet, it's fun for the whole family. And way less, you know, lethal. Jenny, how did you... Ooh, Scraps <laughs> likes you. <laughs> PS3, now $2.99. As soon as Sony announced that steep price point at E3 2006 for the PlayStation 3, you could practically hear the walls of every individual choke. The 20 gigabyte PlayStation 3 will retail for 499 US dollars, the 60 gigabyte PlayStation 3 for 599 US dollars. Sony earned a place for themselves in the gaming market with the success of the original PlayStation and the continued success and growth of the PlayStation 2. So the hype for the PlayStation 3 was immense, and for good reason. But Sony took it a bit too far this time. Players switched to the Xbox 360 due to a lower price point, and the fact that Microsoft released the start of the next generation a full year before Sony in 2005. And developers preferred to develop on the Xbox 360 first and port their work to the PlayStation 3, since the Xbox 360 was easier to develop for, rather than the complicated and powerful cell processor that powered the PlayStation 3. A lot of this damaged Sony's reputation for the PlayStation brand. It wouldn't be until 2009 when a slim revision to the PlayStation 3, a lower price point, and a successful advertising campaign starring PlayStation Vice President of Gaming pulled the PlayStation 3 out of its crumbling ruins. Kevin Butler practically saved PlayStation, and relaunched the console as a competitive force once again. Before the iconic and much beloved Kevin Butler commercials, Sony had some very weird and some very unusual advertisements promoting the PlayStation 3. A series of commercials taking place in the white room would often see the PlayStation 3 against another object. The commercials were meant to come across as edgy and cool, alluding to what the PlayStation 3 was capable of, but in the end, it just came across as odd, unusual, and confusing to those who saw it like this one, or this one, And who could forget this one of the creepy baby doll? <laughs> the PlayStation 3 makes dolls cry. It was that bad, and the critical reception of the series of strange commercials were negative. But Kevin Butler would change the PlayStation 3's edgy concept and soften up with some memorable fun. Gaming is fun, gaming is for everyone, and these commercials would show this. But the thing is, he isn't a real employee of Sony. He wasn't even a real person. It's all fiction, but Kevin Butler became synonymous with the PlayStation brand the same way Flo can be associated with the insurance company Progressive. It was memorable and memorable in the way Sony desperately needed to find success during the 7th generation of consoles against Microsoft's Xbox 360 and Nintendo's Wii. And funny enough, the press and the public didn't believe this was an actor at first. Unless you were heavily invested in the corporate knowledge of PlayStation, the commercials could easily fool you into thinking Kevin Butler was an actual employee of Sony, an employee whose official job title somehow changed depending on the topic discussed in each commercial. I know I was fooled when I was younger, I believed it for a while. Even media outlets requested interviews with the VP, but in reality, PlayStation's real VP of marketing at the time was Peter Dill, who would sometimes make public appearances at conventions like E3. Kevin Butler himself was played by actor Jerry Lambert, who has appeared in many television shows, movies, and a ton of commercials for Geico, Holiday Inn, Bridgestone, which we'll discuss later, and of course, PlayStation. The marketing character was conceived by the Los Angeles, California-based advertising company, Deutsch LA, and was part of two massive advertising campaigns for PlayStation. The first being the It Only Does Everything from 2009 to 2011, and Long Live Play in 2011. An associated Twitter account with the character was created and run by Deutsch LA, which will help further promote some of these specific marketing commercials, while also treating him like a real individual. This campaign was likely meant to last only a few months or a season before moving on, but the Kevin Butler ads were so popular and positive among the public that they lasted over two years, and there was a lot of great games to advertise during that time. And funny enough, the first two commercials featuring Kevin Butler didn't even advertise the PlayStation 3 Slim, 
It featured the original fat PlayStation 3 in its commercials, along with the PlayStation 2 and the PlayStation Portable for MLB 09 The Show. But once the slim model was released, you can bet that the marketing showcased this new design, lower price point, features, and all the exclusives your grubby little hands could buy. PlayStation was all in on Butler. Most commercials saw Butler respond to the concerns of fictional customers on the recent game releases at the time, or on PlayStation 3 features like playing Blu-ray movies or connecting online to the PlayStation Network. A big portion of these commercials featured the introduction of the PlayStation Move, and in one of them, Butler made fun of the Xbox 360 Connect outright without naming it. A brave move on Sony's part against the competition. There were even small storylines like Butler moving in with the family for 90 days and introducing them to the PlayStation Move, and this would later be expanded on Butler's Twitter account with tweets relating to certain days that he lived with the family. And at least on three commercials, they were in collaboration with Best Buy, and would see Butler and a fictional Best Buy employee talking about combining a Sony Bravia TV and a PlayStation 3 console or a console bundle for a discounted price. One of the coolest details in at least two Kevin Butler ads was the inclusion of then-CEO of Sony Computer Entertainment of America, Jack Trenton. Typically, you'd only see these CEOs at conferences, but the CEO was actually featured in the major commercial. When advertising Mon Nation Racers, Kevin Butler went head-to-head -head with Jack Trenton in the game and lost to the CEO, and later when Sony changed the marketing slogan from It Only Does Everything to Long Live Play, a campaign that would actually continue past Kevin Butler, Butler was supposedly rehired from his new boring flooring job with a call from Trenton. Oftentimes, you could see a framed picture of Jack Trenton on the table behind Kevin Butler's desk. It was these cool little additions that made Sony and PlayStation so fun and friendly and often self-aware of themselves and the competition. They weren't taking themselves so seriously as before. It was time to let loose and let the product flourish. On top of the successful Kevin Butler campaign set in motion, the biggest surprise would happen at E3 2010 when PlayStation VP of Marketing at the time, Peter Dill, introduced Kevin Butler himself onto stage to an overwhelming welcome by the audience, and for 10 minutes, the actor as Butler entertained the crowd like he was an actual employee of Sony, bringing up his passion for gaming and how important it is to people, let alone the irony of having the real and fake VP of Marketing on stage during the presentation. Kevin Butler's E3 speech was also written by Deutsch LA, and during the presentation, a sneak peek at a new campaign similar to Butler's would appear. Dear PlayStation, why aren't you talking about the PSP? Actually, these PSP games are the business, and I can't stand hearing these kids talking about some weak app on the phone. Games, phone. They're getting a hustle, KB. Hustle. We need publicity for the PSP. And we're gonna do something about it. PSP needs a hero. Yeah. A baller. Yes. Someone that ain't wearing a clip on tie. Huh? We got good kids playing bad games. You know what? You're onto something. The success of the Kevin Butler commercials led to spin-off commercials surrounding the PlayStation Portable starring a new character, Marcus Rivers, a 12-year-old boy played by Bobby J. Thompson, who many will know as the child trickster Stanley on Disney Channel's That's So Raven. Whereas Kevin Butler's official title as Vice President changed in each commercial, Marcus was hired as a PSP publicist. Marcus first appeared at E3 2010 in an early promo ad called Marcus Meets Kevin, where Marcus wants the PSP to have more publicity, and Kevin agrees, hiring him in the process. A series of commercials with Marcus's signature line, Step Your Game Up, were made as he answered people's concerns, as well as a YouTube channel with Marcus telling people not to waste their money on cheap mobile games and to buy a PSP instead. Unlike the Kevin Butler line of commercials, Marcus Rivers really didn't last long, and Kevin Butler wouldn't be without his problems either. From 2009 to 2011, the Kevin Butler commercials were synonymous with PlayStation, providing hilarious and informative advertising to the public, and the proof was in the sales. But Kevin Butler's reign would come to a screeching halt when the actor portraying the fake vice president was part of a Bridgestone commercial that featured the Nintendo Wii as part of a sales promotion. Sony would sue the actor for trademark infringement. Four months later, both parties would settle, with the actor agreeing not to appear in video game advertisements for two years, and Kevin Butler was no more. On top of that, one of the earlier Butler commercials had to be altered from this... $2.99? Bernie, you can't believe everything you read on the internet. Otherwise, I'd be a Nigerian millionaire by now. To this... $2.99? Bernie, you can't believe everything you read on the internet. That's how World War I got started. After Nigeria's Minister of Information and Communication demanded an apology from Sony, 
calling it an unwarranted attack on the reputation and image of the country. Sony quickly issued an apology, removed the commercial from air, and replaced it. Despite the downfall of Kevin Butler, during his popularity, he also entered into the world of video games. In 2010, a promotional level of microgames was created in Little Big Planet and featured Butler as the final boss to fight, featuring quotes from the ads, and you can actually still find that game today in Little Big Planet 3 on the PlayStation 4. Just search Kevin Butler Wear, and it should be the first to pop up. When Mod Nation Racers on the PlayStation 3 still had its servers online, a downloadable Kevin Butler mod and exclusive racetrack could have been downloaded in game to use. And in 2012, pre orders for Little Big Planet Karting, including a free Kevin Butler DLC pack featuring a Kevin Butler skin for Sackboy and an executive golf cart to drive. I'm assuming these were available to purchase later on, but they seem to have been delisted since in North America. But one thing is for certain. PlayStation needs to bring Kevin Butler back. Despite the breach of contract, lessons were learned, and it would be great to see Kevin Butler back in various advertisements for PlayStation once again, with the PlayStation 5 and the PlayStation VR 2. Can you imagine that first commercial being Kevin Butler admitting that he was rehired by PlayStation after the incident? But we're never told of that specific incident, but if you know, you know, right? Do you think PlayStation should bring Kevin Butler back? Let me know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe for future content. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.